This is Sarah Perry, one of your Innovative Education Facilitators with the next installment of Tech in 2. Have you ever been logged into a Windows laptop or desktop and had trouble accessing a Google document? Maybe you were at a workshop and tried to access a shared presentation link and you saw a screen like this. Or perhaps you tried to join a DDSB colleague's classroom and saw a message saying the link wasn't valid, but you are sure that you typed the classroom code correctly. This video will help you figure out why and fix it. The first thing you should do is to open up your Chrome browser and check to make sure you're logged in. If you see this head and shoulders icon, you are not logged into your Chrome. You need to click on the icon and click sign into Chrome and then follow the steps to sign in. If you checked your Chrome browser and see that you are logged in correctly with your DDSB account, and you are still having trouble accessing files that you should have access to as a DDSB member, the likely issue is that you are actually logged into this browser with two accounts. I can tell from this screen that I'm logged into two accounts by checking up at my profile on the top, seeing that I have my DDSB email in here, and then looking down here and saying it's signed in with my personal Gmail account. Another way that I can check is to go to Google's homepage google.ca. When I go here, again I can see at the top of the Chrome browser that I'm properly logged in with my DDSB account, but when I click and hover over here on the S, I see my Gmail account. This means that I will be unable to access Google Classroom or any documents that students send me or possibly that my colleagues send me that are shared with DDSB members only. The best way to fix it is to go up to the top and click on your name and click Manage People. Here, I'll cover over my avatar or your picture, whatever picture you've chosen, and find the three dots. When I click on the three dots, I can remove this person. And I say, yes, remove this person. This will clear out my Chrome browser. Then you can reopen the Chrome browser, click on that white head and shoulders, and follow the steps to signing into your account. To help avoid having conflicting accounts in the future, if you are going to log into a personal Gmail account, the best way to do that is to click on your name at the top, then click on Manage People. Here you can click on Add a Person, pick any avatar that you like, and then when that opens up, you can click on the same name up here, Person1 and you can sign into Chrome using your personal Gmail or other email account. This will ensure that you keep your account separate and you won't run into the problem of not being able to access anything that somebody has shared with you. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at edtext.support at ddsb.ca.